Welcome back to Blender Daily. Today I want to demonstrate two useful techniques to transform already keyframed objects within Blender. Let me show you. Okay, so let me first demonstrate the issue. So in this case I have a very basic scene with just those stairs and a platform on top. And I already imported a camera from another project that is already keyframed and is animated to move up those stairs and then look around on the platform. So you can see here it is moving up the stairs and then looking around from this platform on top. But obviously this camera is placed in the wrong location. So our goal now is to place this camera to move exactly up those stairs and then look around from this platform. Now you might think that this is easy to solve. We could just take the camera, G, X, move it over here, G, Z to bring it upwards. However, this doesn't work because the camera is fully keyframed. And as soon as I start to scrub through the timeline, you can see that the rotation is reset and the camera is back where it was before. So we need another solution and I have uh, two options for you that I want to share in this video. So for the first method, just go to the object data properties with the camera selected and open the Delta transform menu. In here we can transform the camera, for example, move it along the X axis and then move it on the Z axis, even though the camera is already keyframed. And when I now scrub through the timeline, you can see that the location is not reset and the whole animation was transformed. So maybe also move it a bit on the Y axis. And now I think this animation fits pretty well. I will bring this back so that the camera is actually moving up those stairs and the animation is placed in the correct location. You can also look at this from the camera view and it really looks as if the camera was moving up those stairs and then look around. Now this works in a lot of cases, however sometimes those stairs might be rotated say 180 degrees and go in another direction and now this uh, animation is unusable because the camera is moving up on this right side but the stairs are on the left side and even if we move the camera over here on the Y axis, it is still moving in the wrong direction. Now you might think we could use those Delta rotations to just rotate the camera 180 degrees along the Z axis. However, this also doesn't work because this just rotates the camera, but not the animation itself. So it is still going in the wrong direction. So for this, I have another solution um, that is also pretty easy. So let's uh, first reset the Delta transformations. I just press backspace while hovering over those values. And now the com camera is reset to its original location. Then I press shift A and bring in an empty object. Use those plane axis. I select the camera and shift click on the empty press Ctrl P and parent the camera to this empty object. So now I can move the empty around and the camera will follow along with the animation still working. And now we have the advantage that we can also transform the animation itself. So we can rotate our set, say 180 degrees. And now the camera is moving in the right direction to move up those stairs. So let's place the empty in the correct location, right here on top of the stairs, G set, bring it upwards. And now this camera animation is working again. Let's go into camera view and this looks pretty good. Now what we could even do with this method is scale the animation. So let's say those stairs were way smaller. Now the animation of our camera isn't fitting anymore because the camera is moving way too much. So in this case, we can just take this empty, 
scale it down and it will also scale down the animation of the camera. Let's place it back top of those stairs, bring it down a bit. And now the animation is still working, maybe scale it down even more. Let's take a look at it from the camera view. Maybe turn off clipping. Ah, oh, it's the camera clipping. So you need to select the camera, go to the camera settings and clip start, bring down this value. And now we don't have this clipping anymore. And I think this animation looks pretty good. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.